Hey, what is up guys? We are going to be building a shooting range today, guys. This is the mining map. And we're not going to be mining. We're going to be building a shooting range. So we're going to get this F450. We're going to get the skill loader loaded up. And then we're also going to hook up to the dump trailer later on. Move some dirt. Build the build the kind of... Ah, what's the word? What's the word I want to use? The, the the stop. The barricade. The, the stop behind it to kind of keep uh, the bullets from flying. Or uh, once they hit it from kind of dispersing in different areas. Um, kind of keep it contained a little bit. And uh, just for sa safety reasons, and then we're also we're going to place down some, uh, and now we don't have guns in this. It'd be cool if we had guns. We kind of have guns. Oh, wait, wait, wait yeah, we're going to camp and play some holes. That's where I want to go. Um, right here, the weapon. We got an M4 and rocket launcher, guys. And I actually, Spencer and I have built our own personal shooting range out at our property and stuff. And so we've done this exact same thing. Um, we have 22s, shotguns. I have a 308 rifle. Um, basically hunting guns. I don't have any like, but, uh, we got this F450 in the shop now. I put the, I, I just got done installing the, 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 bu the bumper and the machine gun on top. This huge machine gun on top. So that's why it's in the shop. Nah, nah, I, I didn't, too bad. I couldn't like install different things like in the shop, but, uh, that came with it. Ooh, we got even a monitor on the desk. That's sweet. Okay. And so we're going to go up here and then go hook up to... Oh, that is loud. Everything's kind of laggy. Whoa, why is everything so laggy? Um, That truck is... I've noticed that truck is so loud. But uh, anyways, Gorilla Man and Spencer TV are not here because of the one reason. This truck that I really want to use. When you have this truck on multiplayer, the other people lag. Like, I usually don't lag. But, like, if Gorilla Man was with me, he would lag a ton. So, like, he couldn't even, it's, like, almost hard for him to play. So, that's why they're not here. And I'm just kind of doing this on our own. It's a own little squad project. And we're going to, okay, so we're going to grab the JCP, load it up, and then take it over to the spot. I haven't chosen the spot. We have a lot of land around here. We have a ton of land around here, actually, to put a, to put a shooting range in. But for now, let's see. We probably want that up a little more, like right there. There we go. Perfect. We should be good. And then, so we got to go find a spot, basically, is what we got to do now. We have tons of land, like I said. We're going to lower that ramp. Okay, no, that did not lower that ramp. That locked the load. Now we're going to lower the ramp. And then we're going to lock the load. Perfect. Load is locked. And so now we're going to head out. And we got our. I love that machine gun on top, guys. This is made by Lambo Mods. And I'll link you to his website. Um, his mod page. I'm not sure if he has this truck available yet. I have no idea. It was going to be like available to the first like 2,000 subscribers to his newsletter. I'm not sure if he's hit 2,000 or what. Oh, oh my gosh, something like this. That'd be a good shooting range, even. Um, but I kind of want to go a little deeper into the woods. This would be a sweet area to go to, but for now we're gonna we're gonna keep on going. So we're gonna back up. This scene is. Cool crazy loud i didn't realize how loud this was and guys we you guys probably saw the mining video by now i'm sure you have um we still haven't got the water i haven't read the comments yet because that video hasn't been posted yet it's hard to describe um i record both of these videos sunday night so the video hasn't been posted since i've been recording this while i'm talking right now it hasn't been posted so i haven't been able to read the comments yet but hopefully somebody has a fix to the water thing i tried the animal tank too to see if we could get water running through the mine or the the cleaner the washer and yeah that didn't work either so i have no idea i have no idea how this is going to kind of work okay let's see where we want to go let's we got to find a good spot a real good spot we could go like somewhere back there and this is all our property so we can do a ton i'm thinking something like this now here you guys are probably going to say oh you don't even need like a backstop really but it'd be kind of nice to put some type of backstop in to kind of keep it from the sides even from spraying out even though this is kind of close but this will be like the, really the big backstop but i think i think right here would be a good a good fit so we'll unlock the load and then we'll raise her up and this may i don't think it's gonna be a two video project i don't know it, 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 this may be a long video let's just say so we're gonna get in the jcb and drive and then we're just gonna drop the jcb like right here right there and get out perfect and we'll get back in our oh, yeah, full 50. I love this baby. I love her. I like her a lot. Okay. Let's see if we can back up and turn around and then get heading on the road. 6.7 liter power stroke. Do they have a turbo? I don't, shoot, I don't even know if the 6.7 the six, liters have. I'm sure they have a turbo. Almost every 
every big diesel now is a turbo. I don't know though. I, I don't know. That's a good question. I this would be, like I've said this would be a sweet truck to own. I love I love it. It's so like I like how the square design. I like how like boxy it kind of is almost. And in a way it's boxy, and in a way it's not boxy. I don't know. Like the lines kind of throw it off, and then a way like the the fen the side fenders are boxy kind of, but then. I don't know. Then they got the round. I, I don't know. I like it. I like I like it a lot. Like I said. Okay, so we're gonna go through here. And perfect. Thank you. Thanks for the view. And now we're gonna hook up to the dump trailer. We don't actually have a good dump trailer. Like I saw like big text dump trailer. Or, uh, we actually in real life we have a mid. Uh, how do I how do I say it? Mid so mid soda. Mid soda. They're one of the top brand dump trailers supposedly. Okay, we need to park it. Out of the way of one of these loaders, so because I'm gonna need to get one of these loaders out to move dirt, and that's what our black backstop is gonna be dirt, a dirt black backstop. So we're gonna drop that off, and now we're gonna hook up to the dump trailer. So what? When I hook up to this, it's gonna have the front wheel up. Oh shoot, we gotta get a little closer, a little better. Perfect. Okay, so that front wheel will be will be kind of off. That's fine. That's kind of fine. Kind of fine, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna go out here. Oh, thank you. And take a left. Hopefully no cars coming. Perfect. No cars coming. And so somehow we're going to do a little off-road in here, I think. That 450's got it. It's got the off-road package. We're good. And so we're going to come flying through here. And we got it. Gosh, that sound was loud. I'll kind of adjust that when I'm editing. That's cool. Um, And so go down here. And then we're going to go get dirt. Now, the way we get dirt, if you guys haven't seen the mine video, it's pretty sweet, honestly. I love it. Oh shoot, we don't, we don't want to go in the water there. Oh gosh, we got dirt scattered all over the place. But uh, I'll just kind of pull in right here, and then hopefully that's aligned good. Now we're going to jump in the cat loader, and I'll probably just get in this one. This has dirt in it. Even though it doesn't look like dirt, it's dirt. Like once I r drop it on the ground, it'll turn to dirt. For some reason, when it's in the buckets, I'm not sure why, it, it doesn't turn completely to dirt. I'll show you guys a kind of cool pathway if you guys haven't watched the mine video. Just kind of go through here. It's pretty sweet. I like it. So we go down here, and then we take a right, sharp right, perfect, and we go onto this bridge. Look at this caterpillar. It's a little too like yellowy for me. I'm gonna say, I don't know. I it's it doesn't seem like perfect cat colors, but hey, it's a, it's a cool cat wheel loader, so I'm not gonna complain too much. And we're just going to keep going down here and see if we can. Oh my gosh, the map is kind of glitching pretty weird. We need to stop that. That uh, We need to slow that time down because that time, is it's going to get dark quick. If I keep letting that go. And so, now we're, we probably should clean up those little dirt piles. But for now, honest, oh actually we have dirt in our uh, loader still. I thought we did. We have a little bit. And this will honestly probably fill up. Yeah, I'm assuming this is going to fill it up, like, really quick. This is only 30%, 13,000. I'm, I'm assuming it'll fill up, like, half of it, I would guess. And let's see if... Okay, we can get a bucket view. Watch. Here's our bucket view. This is supposed to be the bucket camera. So there we go. It's filling it up. Look, it almost... That was only 30% of the whole bucket, and that filled that up, like, halfway. That's crazy. Okay. So now we're going to lower it, and we're going to fill this up. And okay, we are full here. Perfect, twenty-five thousand. Wow, that's crazy. So we're gonna go up and tip, and then I'm assuming this this load has to fill it all the way up. It will. Yep, it is topped off, and that only took like six thousand to fill that all up. And so now we're just gonna take that four fifty and drive back over there. We we're kind of borrowing the mining companies. I'm part of the mining company actually. Spencer and I are part of the mining company and grill man. There are business dump trailers, so it's kind of personal use, but uh, we're going to use it for the weekend. We're off work, so thought I'd use, steal the dump trailer for the weekend. And we're going to take a whole left here. Perfect. we got to have a little fun with our guns. Oh, shoot. Okay, and then keep going. Oh, we're getting some air. Holy crap. Okay, and so we're going to go. It's going to be a hard left. It's going to be a whole left here. See if we can climb up here. Perfect. This F450 just has so much power to get up these hills. And no call is coming. Perfect. We're going to get going. Okay. Let's see what this F450 has. We have 18,000 
I don't know. I don't know even how to describe that. Tons, let's say. No, no. Actually, nah. Wait, 18,000 tons? That would be like 36, 36,000 pounds. Uh, yeah, I don't. Actually, you know what? This could be. It's, it's pro this trailer could probably hold more like 20,000 pounds, I guess. Not 36,000 pounds, but. Oh, 18,000 pounds is what it could be, I guess. And so we're going to back this up, and we're just going to cr start creating a huge pile. Eventually, we'll take the skid loader, just kind of level it all out, and dump it all out. So right, I'm thinking like right here. And so now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up that control panel. We're just going to dump. And so it'll kind of dump on its own. And I'll get in that skid loader, and actually... Oh, I didn't want to dump all the way. And that is because... It doesn't want to form like a huge pile for some reason. So what I have to do kind of is I have to scooch forward a little bit. And hopefully we can dump. There we go. And so if we keep driving forward, it'll kind of it'll kind of go on its own a little better. And it won't tip back up. For some reason it always wants to tip back up. Oh, and it wants to tip back up again. I don't know why that is. It just won't form to a certain height, I think. So what happens and we got that all out so now i'll kind of take the skid loader and kind of push it all up and then so we're ready for our next load of dirt and then eventually we're gonna have to kind of spread it all out i probably should go i probably should drive the other way a little more oh shoot i kind of just went over that dirt pile but it's cool and so in the skid loader perfect and we're just going to kind of make a big pile up here i think that's what we're going to do I'll, I'll i'll try to spread it out a little more there we go dumping dirt and keep rolling back. Let's see if we can do a first person view, a sweet first person view. Take some dirt and got a full bucket load. So we'll kind of just spread it all on out. Put it right here. Dump it to the side. Perfect. This is going to be cool. And it's not going to be that big a shooting range. It's going to be like your own personal shooting range. Got a new gun, kind of just go out and just pop, a, pop a few rounds off type of thing. It's not going to be that big. It's not going to be like a. A uh, huge one. Maybe eventually we'll be build a huge one, especially if you guys like this video. Especially if you enjoy this video. Uh, maybe we'll build a huge shooting range, but for now, I don't think we will. And we're going to keep blowing this. So, guys, if we do night plowing, we probably won't be able to use the F450 just because um, it doesn't work multiplayer, like I had said, which sadly kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is, type of thing. Um, and so we're maybe oh you know what i wonder how big this actually forms how big we can get it how high high up we can get it i think there's a certain point where you can't get this pile any bigger any larger that's what i think happens see look it doesn't want to get any bigger oh what 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 no we want to get a bigger There it goes. It was kind of getting bigger, I think. Okay, we'll we'll see what happens when we get more dirt. Okay, for now, there we go. We got we got some. I think two more loads would do it. So we're gonna put that down and we're gonna get rolling. It almost be kind of uh, actually no. The cat wheel loader. This F450 flies. I was gonna say the cat wheel loader would almost be faster if we just drove it down here and just kind of went back and forth getting loads, or we could take a big cat semi trailer. Watch, we could kind of take it and steal it from the... Spencer and Grillman said we weren't supposed to use the equipment when we weren't working, but, uh, hey, they're not here. Maybe I can go... Ooh, should we try it? Should we try it? Okay, we, we may try it for the last load, because it's going to take, like, two loads. Okay, so, instead of using dump trailer, we're just going to get the big, big trailer, the Peterbilt. We're going to fire that baby up, cold starter, and put the trailer away. Put the dump trailer away. That way can haul a lot more dirt dirty dirty dirt and here's our Peter Bill let's hear this cold start oh it was probably hard to hear and so we're going we're just going right out of the gate it's cool though and so we're going down hopefully oh my gosh we just hit a bull that was not good that was not good at all okay let's see if we can uh, okay, Peter Bill's got off road suspension too, kinda, kinda. <laughs> oh, maybe not. So we're going down here. I better take it slower down a little bit. So we're in the Peter Bill slower down, going down this hill. It is get sketchy going down here. 
Okay, let's see if we can get around here. Perfect, and hold left. Sweet, and it looks like the cat is ready for us. Okay, I the, the main goal with the shooting range is I want to get it... Oh, shoot, we don't want to dump that dirt yet. I want to get it a little higher than it is right now. If you guys can see, it's not too high. I'd like to get it higher. Oh, we could just put it like a shooting range in down here almost. That's what we could do. And we filled the trailer pretty full right there just with one load. Two loads might... Actually, you know what? Two loads in 9,000... How do we want to say this? 9,000 uh, pounds or bushels or what, whatever this wheel loader goes by, tons most likely, will fill this trailer. And so, dumping. Okay, we are kind of tipping that trailer. That is not good. And there we go. We're almost full. And so we're going to back up again and just kind of get one more quick load. It looks like we're filling it already. Even when the bucket's in the air. That's weird. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm not used to these controls. That's why That's why I'm doing that, guys. I'm not used to these controls because they're complete opposite. To tip the the load and to dump it, you slide to the left on this. Usually, it's you slide to the right. Uh, okay, and we're full. Perfect. So, I'm going to kind of drop the bucket down a little bit. And actually, actually, no, we won't need a full load. I think well, this will be our last load, honestly. I think it will be. And so we'll jump in the Peterbilt and see if we can get going. See what this Peterbilt has. This is a pretty darn heavy load, so we got to take it a little slower. We have to. And we're going to take a right, perfect, left. As you can see, you can see all my tracks from here. I'm making a ton of tracks through here. And let's do a little first person. I didn't do much first person. So we'll go through here. Hopefully we don't hit anything too big. And I'm going to take a left. Push, push, push. Come on, Peter Bet. What you got? What you got? Get up the hill. Fine. Just rose up that hill. So we're going to cut through the grass a little, even though it is kind of muddy. It's fine, though. And we're going to fly down here. Okay, hopefully we don't hit that car. This Peter Bet honestly steers great. It works great. So let's see if we can keep going down here. Stay in our lane, hopefully. There we go. We'll do a little. Outside view and our shooting range is coming up. There is our tracks from the F450. And we're just going to cut right through here. We got to slow it down though because it is pretty rough through here. Um, so we're going to pull around and see if we can dump this. Let's see how well this will work. And starting to dump. Perfect. It's forming a pretty big pile, honestly. It's pretty big. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty big pile. I'm going to say that's probably a good... Uh, we could probably... Honestly, th that's a good pile. I like it. I like it. I like it. So we're going to pull forward now. And we're going to get in the JCP and kind of form that shooting range a little better. And we're going to do like a pistol shooting range, kind of. And then we're also going to do like a... Uh, a rifle shooting range so we'll, we'll do a pistol that's pretty darn close and then eventually we'll kind of back it up to a rifle shooting range as well I'm thinking so we got a load and we're going to kind of go up here and see if we can climb this kind of tip it off the backside form the backside edge it's just bare, it's not even forming at all really it's, it's fine though and so we're going to kind of clean this little thing up right here perfect and kind of almost make it and like I said, this isn't going to be that biggest shooting range. I'm kind of just forming the outside the bank, so it won't splatter too bad is what I want. The splatter is the word I want. Perfect. And, oh, shoot. Yeah, I think we grabbed a full load when we were backing up there. That's fine, though. And so, let's see if we can... Oh, the JCB won't, doesn't want to climb that hill. Ah, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, and there we go. Dump it on the side. And we're not really doing too much for me. If I had a dozer, we would do a little more. As you can see, it's had a little dirt here and there. Why do I keep grabbing a full load when I back up? Oh, that's weird how it, that's how you're, weird how it works. Okay, let's see if we can dump it. And hopefully, this time, we don't grab a full load. Tip the bucket. There we go. 
and I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Honestly, this is exactly what ours looks like. We didn't make it crazy good, but it's something for a backstop, and then we got that big backstop if all else fails, you know, behind there. And so what I want to do now is I want to see if we can... Ooh, should we put a... Okay, this is going to be one of our targets. Hopefully, it's not too high. Okay, that is too high. We can that we probably shouldn't do that. I don't think we should do that. Um, we got to sell that. Let's see if we can sell it and sell. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna put in our kind of bench. Do we have some sort of bench? Okay, the weapon. Here we go. Okay, so this is gonna be the distance of our pistol. Just right here. Put in two right here. Perfect. And then I'll let me kind of move some of the equipment back. And we will lag here if we like step on top of these. But sweet, we got our M4, all of our machine guns. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, and let's see if we can kind of move this people back. And then we'll put a rifle range like way further back. Not way further back, but further back. And like here's a good distance. Here's a good distance. I don't know if that's a hundred yards or what. Well, we're gonna say it's a hundred yards. It's kind of by the road, but we're 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 kind of out in the country, so we're we're good. Honestly, ooh, that barrel wouldn't be bad to like shoot and set stuff on top of. There we go. So there's there's our other shooting distance. We got our M4 and our rocket launcher. I'm not sure if we're gonna use the rocket launcher or what, but we got it there. Um, that's all that matters. And so I'm gonna put this can down. This can in front. Now it's. What what was it again? Let's look. Biochemicals or something like that. It doesn't sound like we should be shooting it, but I think we're gonna shoot it. Either way, we gotta shoot it. We gotta shoot it. Yeah, we'll shoot it. Why not? Let's shoot it. Let's shoot it. Oh, you guys saw that lag. The lag is crazy there. But uh so there we go. We got something to shoot. We got something to put holes in. And then we'll back the skid loader up, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little shoot this little uh shooting range maybe if you guys want if you guys want in the comment section tell me and we can make a like a huge i don't know how you want to describe it business shooting range to where like an actual shooting range where people come and pay it'd be like really, we could be pretty creative with it make it like humongous take dozers and stuff it'd be awesome we get your old man spencer tv in here but uh let me know if you guys want that and if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and like it up comment if you guys have any questions subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next vid Thanks for watching, guys.